and it's a big welcome back to Mardo Tackle Talk and I get really happy when my friends order from me. I haven't seen Elton Cuthbert in ages and ages but I got this most delightful message in my Instagram the other day. So Elton, a kayak legend, surfing guy actually. Anyway, all surfers seem to turn into fishermen. That's what happens, eh? Gavin Spouse next. His order is going to be ne next. He's in St. Francis. They're going to catch some yellowtail, but um, Elton's going to catch kuta and snook and tuna and that kind of stuff. So I'm starting him off at the very bottom of the ladder with the little daisy chains that catch everything. These take a fillet. And uh, oftentimes I put another lure on the end of this with a swimmer and a fillet. But I'll show you that shortly. Elton also gets this cool Mardo spoon. Um, these things are mean. Anyone who used them knows all about them. Right, moving on up the ladder a little bit. Elton here is a strip bait swimmer. So you just put like a shad fillet on there. I mean a fillet of sardine or a fillet of anything, but like a shad bait, you know. Don't have to be too long either. I must just get out of that skirt. So if it ends there, that's just great. You can cotton it if you like. I do sometimes. But um, generally, it's very easy to just flip it, put a fillet on there, one shot, and put it out. You can troll it slow without cotton, faster with cotton. These things catch everything. You all know that. So now it's got a swimmer on it, and it's got a duster. So yeah, that goes into the spread somewhere. Now, Elton, I don't know how many rods you can take on your kayak, but I send you lots of tackle there, pal. There is a regular Mado Silver Bullet Bait Swimmer Cooler Trace. It's in stealth mode. It's got number four hooks and it's been rigged with number six wire and number five wire or something. But yeah, there it is. So the sardine goes on there like that. If I can try and give you a demo, if that's a sardine, it goes on like that. Okay. Elton, there's quite a few um, kuta traces in here for you. He has one that's made with wire droppers because of the kuta, but because of Dorado and Tuna around, I used nylon in the front here, which is a big risk. Because now the cooter just char through, even 200 pound, they just char. But I've settled on uh, 300 pound for my big rigs, because just in case it's a bullfish or something. So yeah, Elton, I'm not sure if you've got any business sticking a big bonito or an oversized shad <laughs> out the back of your kayak. <laughs> but yeah, it takes a big bait, you know. Uh, that's 300 pound nylon, which I use now because it doesn't make any noise. When you use wire and you put a big live bait in the water, the sound is diabolical. This is silent. And if it is a shark, at least you can take control. But a kuta battles to get through 300 pound. That's where his teeth kind of run out. But I mean, I don't know. You want to take the chance? I do. I'm using nylon flat out unless I know that the kuta are around. You get so many more strikes. Um, Elton, there's some more things for you. Can you believe it? I'm going to just show you quickly what you're going to catch a snook with. These little babies. It's a swimmer on the front and a little plastic on the back. It's got nylon again, so the minute you get child off, change to wire. I'm going to show you how to rig these things in another video because there are many ways of rigging them and with many different leader materials. In the meantime, there's a slightly heavier GT1. These things swim beautifully, very, very nicely. He has a little tiny baby, baby guy. For estuaries and that, for the surf zone. Anyway, we've got these in many different sizes, shapes and sizes. Elton, you're getting a whole spread, by the way. All I want from you is photographs. Okay, anyway, here is a beautiful two ounce. This thing will swim anything, absolutely anything, up to about two kgs. Then we go to a three ounce with a slightly bigger blade too. Um, but now you're starting to go deep, and you're going to have to use heavy tackle. You can't use 10 kg line here anymore, 50 pound plus. Then we get to the really big guys. And as you can see, the blades are different sizes. That's a small blade guy. Whereas we've got these monster blade guys here. The monster blade guys are for very slow trawling and for catching down deep. You, you might even, well, you will. You'll catch rock hard and all kinds of things with these things, no matter where you are. As soon as you find the reef. Yeah, is the uh, little flying fish model. Elton, you're going to get this too. And so will you, Gavin. Down, I'll do Gavin's setup next. But uh, basically, Elton, you've got everything here that you're going to need to catch. Kuta and snook and shuna and wahoo and cop jobfish and all that kind of stuff. And I really, really am looking forward to your photos. Thank you.